for a start for race two. Away they go. Uh, Waka Papa a little bit slow. Likewise, Charles in charge, like a Roo. Royal Mystique allowed to drift back in the early part. Tosca King jumped well. And is forward early with New Shanghai. Bronze Glow was third. Now from wide out, Babetto going forward. Like a Roo's up about sixth on the outside of Shearer Claude. Pantala's three out. Four out was Amber Gaze as they run to that first turn. Amber Pace is very erratic, but it's going up towards the lead with Babetto. Both horses wanting to go a lot quicker as they get around the turn at the 1400. And it's Amber Pace going to a two length lead now. Babetto second on the outside of Tosca King and two lengths away, New Shanghai fourth. Fifth, the inside, Shearer Claude, about a half a length away, Pantala getting one off the rails now. Revolutionary three deep around Lycaru in the green colours with a red cap and back on the rails was Bronze Glow. A length away, Oakcrest getting a nice run about midfield. Cape Dance is just travelling a little bit wide at the moment. Over on the inside, back in third last position was Waka Papa. Around it was Chimwood getting well back in the field. It's only about six off the lead though. Second last was Charles in charge and Royal Mystique was last about eight lengths off the lead. 800 left to go and Amber Pace is narrowly in front from Babetto. Pantala's three out. Tosca King getting the run of the race back on the inside of New Shanghai trying to come four deep. So Revolutionary will be five wide around the turn. Further out to Lycaru and then Cape Dance is starting to come into it but about eight wide on the home turn. Running up behind them was Shearer Claude as they enter the straight and they were followed by Chem Wood and Oakcrest trying to weave through. Down to the 400 they head. Babetto put its nose in front. Revolutionary's after it. Tosca King trying to get out. Lycaru putting in a dash and then came Oakcrest trying to weave through in between them. Lycaru Lycaru, the leader, Oakcrest has claimed it though. Then Chemwood followed by Cape Dance, Tosca King, Oakcrest put its head in front from Chemwood, Revolutionary Batley on Lycaru, and they were followed by Cape Dance. Oakcrest, the leader from Lycaru, Chemwood, the Beto battling on, but Oakcrest will be too good, and Oakcrest has won it. Oakcrest first, second home was the Beto, Lycaru third, then Chemwood, and Royal Mystique ran on fair. Revolutionary next in, and then came uh, back on the rails, Shearer Claude. Behind those would have been uh, weakening out of it, Cape Dance, and then came Waka. Papa was never really much of a chance. Amber Pace got tied. She recorded in that gap or in that group with New Shanghai. Tosca King, perhaps it didn't get the trip, but seemed to have every possible chance. And pulling up at the tail of the field was Bronze Glow. Well, another beautiful ride by Stephen King. I thought at the 400 metres he was going to have real trouble getting a run. Uh, I've never liked to charge the right brigade coming around that home corner. But uh, Stephen just sort of weaved his way through them, waited for the runs to appear. Here he is, Arrowed with the red cap. And John Ma, he always seems to produce winners on this last day of the carnival. He seems to bring his horses along at the right moment, get them right. He doesn't hurry his horses, and uh, you know, this was a very good win by Oakcrest. Gone to the line very well. Uh, I think the top weight, Tosca King, didn't have a lot of luck in the straight. If you backed him, just follow him later on, he didn't have a lot of luck at all. But, Cape uh, Dance was probably travelled a bit wide, but... I thought he was entitled with his class in the race to finish it off a little bit better, Gary. Uh, yes, the winner was. was strong enough. He yes, actually here, held here's, a, here's a great shot of, uh, you know, Stephen angling for a run here. He's one, two, three, five in with the horse uh, red cap, black and white hoops. Just inside the horse in the green with the red cap. And until that stage, you've been looking for a run. You can see the horses on the inside. They haven't got any room to go anywhere. But that's sort of where we picked it when we walked the track. I thought you'd have to have a bit of cover. If you come out there about four or five horses off that rail, I think that's definitely the best, best ground. You can actually see the shadow or the way the grass has been cut and rolled there. He's just drifting in a little bit here. But uh, as I said, in the first race, Stephen rode a beautiful race on that T-roll. The horse was laying in all the way with him, and he was able to swap the stick from the right hand to the left, and, uh, you know, it was a very good ride. The numbers on the second race are 4, 12, and 10, an early double for Stephen King. 4, 12, and 10 are the official placings. That's Oakcrest, Stephen King, defeating Babito, Eddie Kasser, and Lycaru, Andrew Findlay. Should be some uh, big dividends, particularly the trifecta, because the two place getters were at enormous odds. Pete? Yes, thank you, Dan. And John Maher is with us here after the running of the second, and that might be the start of a very big day for you. Oh, we've got some good chances, Peter. Um, I was happy with that. I, was, I, uh, I just said to Steve, you ride him like if, you know, find best. Uh, he had the opportunity to ride him at um, Geelong, so that was probably a plus he knew him. But um, I thought he won pretty good. Uh, it was a nice race for him, and he might have a bit of a future long term. He's only a young horse. He's an Oak Ridge, you know, out of, a, out of a family that's got a bit of depth in it, so mate, one day he might make up a nice handicap. He just sums up the race beautifully, Steve, doesn't he? Because it was a muddling run race early. Yeah, they went a bit slow and uh, then they quickened from about the 1200, but uh, he summed it up pretty well. But he's a, he's, a, he's a top rider. It's just unfortunate for us that he's going to Hong Kong. It's yeah. good for him, of course. Now, as I said, it might be a big day for you. Could it be Shades of 93 with five winners that day? 
Gee whiz, um, that's a big ask. Um, uh, two or three will do. Yeah. The one at the moment is pretty good. I'm sure they will. Well done, John. Well, thanks.